Okay guys, so a few months ago, Pissafun contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a review on a product they had. So uh, I took a look at this product on their Amazon website. And after thinking about it, I thought, yeah, that product can actually uh, benefit me. Um, now they sent this to me months ago and unfortunately I totally forgot about it. Um, but the other day I was watching a Japanese uh, YouTuber, a fishing YouTuber, and he was uh, stringing up a new reel that he had. And uh, in order to put tension on the spool of line, he actually put that in his shoe in order to keep that, uh, that spool tension to keep the line taut. And I thought that was hilarious. And then I totally remembered that I had this product and I have not done that review on it. And no, it's not this product. This is coming later. But it is this product right here. It's called the Fishing Line Winder. This box feels, uh, feels pretty hefty, but let's check out what's inside. Now this came with uh, the little mini tackle bag. And that tackle bag pretty much took all my attention because it was so neat. But let's check this out. It says the Pissafun Multifunction Line Spooler. It looks pretty complicated, but let's take a look at what's in here. Well, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, we got this. And we got this. So it was packed pretty well. It's got this styrofoam that's cut to hold all the pieces. So basically, it looks like there's only four pieces here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing together and then see if we can spool up some reels with fishing line and see how well this thing works. Now the reason I wanted to uh, review this is, as you guys know, I do a lot of uh, field testing and I often, as soon as I'm done with the line on a particular reel, um, I'll just dump it out and throw it away. So I'm going through a lot of line all the time. I'm, I'm uh, re-spooling constantly and literally going through miles of line. And a lot of times in the field, I'll blow a reel up to where I'll have to, you know, re-spool. And uh, it's kind of inconvenient to do that out in the field, but maybe this will help me out in that respect or maybe even help you out on the water on your boat if you needed to re-spool a line. So let me put this thing together and we'll see how this thing works. Okay guys, so I'm looking at these instructions. According to this, you can actually uh, use this thing two different ways. You can use it as a stationary line um, spooler. It comes with a suction cup you can stick on surfaces so here's a little illustration. But for me, I'm more interested in this way right here. The rod clip. So I don't need this suction cup thing, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. So apparently, the way this works is you stick this piece down into this piece right here and that's actually a ball bearing yeah that's a ball bearing and uh, yeah let me see if I can put this together okay so once you've pressed that little shaft into the ball bearing you you secure it by screwing the screw on and then you line up this little piece I guess with the spring into this section right here. And it looks like that's it. I don't see any other, well, nope, that's not it. You stick this piece right here and uh, 
You screw this on. Okay. Okay, according to this, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna test it out and clamp, clamp this on a rod and see what happens. Okay guys, so I believe I have this thing set up. Now according to the diagram, if you wanna spool up a bait caster, it's supposed to be on top, but the way that I'm gonna run it, it's gonna be at the bottom and I'll show you guys why. So basically, you just take this clamp and you clamp it onto your rod and you tighten down this screw and then this dial here this lets you open up these two arms and then tighten them down and it kind of adjusts the tension so let's see if this thing works Okay, there we go. It seems to be working. And these two arms here will provide the tension that you need to keep, uh, I guess, keep your line from uh, coiling. But hopefully you guys can see this. So I'm spooling up this Corrado because I have a new top water lure that was just sent to me that I'm going to try to test out here in the next few days. So I'm spooling it up with the 12 pound monofilament. Now one thing I did was I actually ran the line all the way through the top and back in through the, all the guides. So it seems to work pretty good. Okay, I think that's enough line. So when, once I'm done, I can just cut this line and then tie a lure on, and then I'm ready to go. Okay guys, so as you can see from the test run, this thing actually works. Now I had some uh, apprehensions about this thing. Um, the main thing was the size of my uh, spool of line. Now the videos that I've seen and the uh, pictures that I've seen on Pissifun's uh, Amazon site all showed um, examples of using the you know the average spool of line, you know, 200 pounds of mono, which is very thin and and wide. So I didn't know how this thing would work using a big bulk spool of line, and it works very well. And that's all due to the adjustability of these arms. Now let's go over uh, a couple of observations. Now this thing is not a light piece of equipment for being basic, basically plastic. And that's actually a good thing in my book. The, the plastic is very dense and heavy. So that means this thing should last you quite a while. Now, one thing that I thought wasn't really going to work was the ends of these arms are rounded and I didn't think that they would secure, you know, this big bulky spool of line very well, but it held it very, very well. Um, I thought that they would need, you know, points or, you know, some extensions out to securely hold the spool, but they do an excellent job of keeping this big, heavy spool of line in place while I was winding it onto the reel. Now, ergonomically, this huge dial here is really easy to turn. You really only need one finger and this is what allows you to, you know, adjust how wide these open and how much tension you put on the spool. And I'm glad that this dial is very, very big and very easy to turn. So ergonomically, that's awesome. Now the only thing that I would change and I would recommend to Pissifun is they have a piece of plastic right here. I would put either foam or plastic on both sides um, and make it thick because in order for me to mount this onto the rod, I had to put it on the thickest part of the rod. 
and uh, that's probably for the best anyway because like I said this thing is uh, it's pretty hefty I wouldn't want to put it at the very you know middle or the tip of the rod but this would allow you to definitely uh, put this on thinner rods I don't see anything thinner than that uh, Tatula rod I was using to be able to you know fit snugly in this uh, opening that they give you now in order to work this you just turn this dial turn it up fold this down and then the clamp opens and, and you're ready to go and then when you have this clamped on the rod just turn it back up into that opening there and you hold the screw and you, you can just use your finger to turn that dial and tighten it up so ultimately this tool is going to be pretty pretty useful to me and the reason being is usually um, when I'm about to have like a big multiple reel shootout out in the field um, what I'll do is I will spool the lineup on the reels the night before and so I can have them ready to go and uh, it's only about 10 or 12 hours I guess you can say but I'm pretty sure that uh, the lines will develop memory during that span now this way I can just spool them right before I test the reels out in the field so it's going to be very useful for me now if it's useful for you let's say you need to re-spool out on your boat or whatnot I'm going to leave a link to this line spooler and uh, the price on this thing from what I saw today it was $32.99 now honestly that's a, a bit of a, a shocker I thought it would be somewhere in the 20s but uh, once again this thing feels quality it's made of plastic but it's very very substantial plastic and this thing should last you a long time once again $32.99 I'll leave the link in the description and uh, if you couldn't tell already I'm gonna be starting spinning reel reviews very soon okay guys thanks a lot